Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another Redshift tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to export Z-Depth from Maya with Redshift into Nuke. And hey, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on, otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that we're releasing for free each week here on YouTube. So, first off, we'll start off with this uh, render here. I've already rendered it out, but I'll show you what the settings are. So you just want to go into your settings under Redshift into the AOV tab. Then we're going to add in the depth pass we use this button here to display its attributes and the things we're going to want to change is mainly the filter you can actually use any of these except for full and you're going to get a reasonably expected result center sample is what is recommended in the redshift docs so we're going to use that we can keep everything else there as the default the only other thing you may want to pay attention to is set environment rays to black which means it's going to give it a far value or maximum depth value and this will mean that if you've got environment rays or H, um, dome lights visible within the shot then it'll set those to be furthest from the camera at max distance. We can also set this down to half float if you wish and we're going to be using OpenEXR as we will always want to do when we're compositing. So with that the only thing left to do is just to go render and batch render and then we'll have a look at what happens in Nuke. Okay here in Nuke let's start building our composition so we're just going to grab a read node by hitting R we are going to grab our two passes that have come out, which is our beauty pass and our Z depth pass. Our beauty pass will be visible and our Z depth pass will be invisible because we'd need to shuffle the Z depth pass out. However, we're not going to bother doing anything too exciting with it. So what we're going to do here is just use a shuffle node and this has changed in the more recent Nuke versions. We are just going to use the shuffle node and you'll notice that it looks a little bit different than it has previously. So we're going to plug the B port into the beauty pass and then the A is going to go into the Z depth channel. And then here in the node we're going to select A for the second input and we're going to go down to depth and then we're also going to assign that to depth on the right hand side. And we can just drag that across and that's going to assign it in there. So now we can create a Z defocus and we'll just plug our image into the shuffle node and I'll hit one on that so we're now viewing through the Z defocus and you see that it's out of focus so I'll just double click there and grab my focal point and we can move that somewhere and that started to bring everything in focus but we're actually not using the correct math yet so for redshift we want to use depth as our math and then we can go to focal plane setup and we can see what's in focus and we'll just increase our depth of field which is going to give us a wider focal plane and we'll move, say, our focal point to be the on the Borg logo for our synthesizer. And then I'm just going to increase the maximum and minimum a little bit so it's a little bit easier to see in the video. And we'll go back to result. So now as I increase the size of our defocus, you can see that it's beginning to put the foreground out of focus and the background out of focus a lot more and that is pretty much all there is to it and you can composite this into much more complex scenes after this point um, but that is the very simple and straightforward way to get it set up if you'd like to have a look at the scene for yourself you can grab the files on gumroad or you can support us on patreon and get it for free after six months or at a 50 percent discount up to you thanks to our patrons for supporting these videos that's it for this tutorial if you found it useful make sure you leave a like so other people can find it and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out cg and illustration tutorials every week just like this one become a patron and access tutorial assets bonus content a private discord and more by clicking the link below